all those who serve or who have served, we continue to share their stories in our special series, Veterans Voices. Tonight, meet a man who held the highest position in the North Dakota National Guard, overseeing and supporting thousands of soldiers. As Renee Cooper reports, he did it all for the love of his family. I made two really, really good choices in my life. One was marrying that woman over there, and the other was joining the military. <laughs> In that order, retired Command Sergeant Major Ron Hopfoff enlisted in the North Dakota National Guard in 1964 and married the love of his life the following year. Verdell Hopfoff is truly his girl next door, a woman he knew since childhood. My wife was just about as uh, much military as me. For 35 years, he spent most of his days and hours serving. Family is a big deal when you're when you're a military guy. Uh, they they got to be. Uh, uh, they've got to support you 100% or, or it doesn't work out so well. Same goes for their two kids. They were totally supportive as well. I mean, well, of course, when you're children, they got to be, we drug them along, you know, when they you just come along with us. And exploring his home state was just part of the job. From Mandan up to rugby and back down to Minot. My family was in tow the whole time. Eventually, he landed in Bismarck. He moved up through the ranks, and in 1994, he was chosen to be the state command sergeant major, the highest ranking enlisted person in the North Dakota Guard, representing about 2,300 soldiers for six years. I rarely had a weekend off when I became a CSM because there was always a, a unit drilling somewhere in the state. I would travel from unit to unit and, and visit with soldiers, trying to find out, you know, if they've got any problems, uh, what's good, what's bad, what's, what's going on. One of the career moments Hopfoff will always remember is inviting the Sergeant Major of the Army to an annual weekend with military leaders at Camp Grafton. And that is big deal, you know, and I thought I'd never get him in. Well, lo and behold, he responded and he says that he'd be more than happy to come and join us for the weekend. And service was not just a portion of Hopfoff's career. It was his life from 1964 to 2000. Every job has got its good days and bad days, but uh, I think there's way more good days that I had than bad. He tells me what he enjoyed most about the military was the camaraderie and the feeling that he was a part of something greater than himself, another family. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, Renee Cooper. After retiring from the Guard, Hopfoff worked as a disaster recovery specialist with the State Department of Emergency Services. Now he's officially retired and enjoys finally getting to spend days with his wife full time. Coming up next.